hello guys assalamu alaikum so today we will learn about uh, ellipse uh, using c++ graphics that uh, how can we draw an ellipse using c++ graphics but first of all let me show you that how it works after that we will find the value so see here you can see uh, the result of ellipse uh, that we have drawn with the help of built-in uh, function or you can say built-in command ellipse so how it works so first of all here we have included a library that is called graphics.h and in this library uh, there are many functions that is that is used for uh, drawing uh, graphics so first we have created our window with the help of built-in function init window and it has two values for width 500 and height 5 100 after that we have included here a built-in function that is called ellipse uh, so for drawing ellipse and it has uh, something like one two three four five six parameters I, I mean six values so the first 150 and 150 are called x-axis and y-axis for the position of the ellipse these two values are called uh, starting point uh, of the line and ending point of the line and and we will found all this we will find these values with the help of panto in graph and last two values we have included here 100 and 100 these these are also called x axis and y axis but in case of drawing um, arc or um, circle we use radius but we we also use we will also use here radius but with the help of x axis and y axis so now we will move to the pen so that we can so here i will draw a pen uh, i will draw a circle sorry not pen so see suppose it is a circle and we all know that um, uh, so this this point this point is called so let me change the color so that we can uh, find the value this point is called zero angle i mean starting angle and if I want to draw the circle to this point, uh, so this point will be 45, 45 angle. And if I want to draw my circle something like this from the zero point, something like uh, this, this. So this will be 90 angle. So from zero to 90 angle. So whenever you draw a line, a circle, you have to choose its angle from 0 to 45 to 90 or if you want to draw a half circle or you can say eclipse then you have to choose here ending point or ending angle 180 so it will be like this it will be looks like this but if you want to draw complete and full circle then you have to draw like this and this point will be 316 okay now let me erase all this stuff and we will understand our uh, today's concept so suppose this is our starting point and i want to draw something like this and this will be our ending point see starting point must be zero and ending point and we know that that half circle consists of uh, 180 angle so from zero angle to 180 angle okay so if uh, i draw a line here for x-axis and y-axis for position see something like this so this will be y-axis and this will be x-axis so if i want to put here a value for x-axis 150 or you can put here 200 uh, uh, it's your wish it's, it's depend on you and if I want to put here value for y axis 150, then our position for eclipse will be 150, 150. After that, we have two values, uh, basically two angles, zero angle and ending angle that must be 180. Okay. After that, we have further two values for radius. We know that radius are something like this, and we represent radius by r. So if I put so here in case of eclipse we have uh, we we have to for put two values for radius so let me delete this stuff one value for x axis something like this so if i put here 100 so it will be bigger my eclipse will be bigger from center to the corner or to the starting point and one radius will be something like this for y axis so if i put here 100 value for radius of x axis it will be something like this 
this so now let me put all these values in our function so we have put it 150 150 for x position and y position of the eclipse and we have um, included two values further for um, starting angle and ending angle so because i want to start uh, my eclipse uh, starting point of the line from zero to the angle of 180 because basically i want to draw a half circle that is called eclipse after that we have added uh, so if i change the value here so suppose i added here uh, 50 50 now let me compile and run and see the result see it's compiling see 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 it's compiling <laughs> see now our eclipse uh, a little bit uh, smaller than the first one because we have changed radius for uh, our eclipse uh, x radius and y radius so if i add here like um, 100 100 then it will be uh, bigger it must be bigger than the previous one see so now we have changed the value so it's a bigger than the previous one so you can simply uh, draw your uh, eclipse using built-in uh, function ellipse or you can call built-in commander method that is stored uh, in graphics.h so if you like this video then subscribe my channel and must like this video because uh, you are uh, one like is very uh, compulsory or you can say very necessary for us for our youtube videos and also share this video with your friends so see you in the next video